Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we've got some pretty awesome news about PCSX2. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, a little while back, we talked about a huge breakthrough for PCSX2 thanks to Duck Station, and that was the addition of the Vulcan Renderer. I'll drop a link to that video in the description below and feel free to check it out. Now the PCSX2 development team have kept their foot down on the gas here. They haven't slowed down and They've made some more improvements to PCSX2. So first up here, PCSX2 development builds are no longer. They're now called nightly builds. And they state nightly builds are less tested than their stable release counterpart, but do undergo some amount of focus testing. The latest nightly build is equivalent to running the latest commit of the PCSX2 GitHub repository. In other words, you are getting the latest and hopefully greatest improvements. If you're running the latest stable version of PCSX2, you're currently on version 1.6. But if you take a look at the nightly builds, they're on version 1.7.2241, at least at the time of this video. This means that there's been a ton of stuff added to PCSX2 since then. So if you're having trouble running PCSX2, or if you want to check out the latest and greatest that PCSX2 has to offer, you might want to check out one of these, I was going to say development, one of these nightly builds. There's no harm in trying it, you can just download it to its own folder, use your existing BIOS and try a few games you have and see if you like it, it might be worth it. And the second thing here, these nightly builds have migrated over to this brand new GitHub page. It looks great, it functions great, and I definitely recommend checking it out. Now on this GitHub page, if we take a look, right here where it says Windows version 1.7.2241. If I click on it, here is the other big change. We can see Windows 32-bit, and we can also see Windows 64-bit. You can now get PCSX2 in 64-bit. Now at this point in time, there's no guarantee that the 64-bit version will perform better than the 32-bit version, but I'm willing to bet that in the future, yes, the 64-bit version will be better. And if we take a look here, we have AVX2 and SSE4 versions of 64-bit and also the 32-bit. If you're looking for the best of the best, AVX2 is where it's at, if your CPU can support it. Here is the list of CPUs that support AVX2. If your CPU isn't on the list or if you know your CPU doesn't support AVX2, you will have to try out SSE4. Now, SSE4 isn't necessarily bad, it's just not as good as AVX2. And fun fact here, if you're on Linux, you also have access to the 64-bit version. To pick up the latest and greatest version of PCSX2 is simple and straightforward. Head on over to this GitHub page, I'll leave a link in the description below. And then once you're here, just click on the big blue button, and it will have the most up-to-date version here. And then go on ahead and select 32-bit or 64-bit. If you're on Windows, I do recommend giving AVX2 a shot. Now, for those of you using Mac, I'd personally recommend using a different operating system altogether. I'm not a big Mac fan here, but at the same time, if you want to use Mac, I'm not going to stop you. There is a PCSX2 version that has been recently updated for Mac, and it was updated as of January 7th, 2022. So about a week ago here, maybe a little bit over a week, this year's flying by. I'll leave a link to this GitHub page in the description below. Feel free to check it out and you can pick it up right here. Just click on this nice blue link and install it and have some fun. At the end of the day here, PCSX2 has been absolutely killing it. They keep getting better and better and they're not done yet. They still have some tricks up their sleeve. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Short, sweet, and to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about these PCSX2 updates in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about PCSX2 in general in the comments below. And let me know your thoughts about emulation in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.